back in previous lecture uh, we study the turbo jet engine and the turbo prop engine uh, in today's video in the further slides we discuss the ramjet okay before going to the ramjet we must know what is meant by turbo jet engine and what is meant by turbo prop engine if you understood in previous videos i discussed in detail turbo jet and turbo prop okay i revise in short for better understanding of that ramjet engine you can easily differentiate the what is the difference between turbo jet turbo prop and ramjet engine okay let's starts with the some revision in previous videos we discuss what is meant by gas turbine and jet engine please go through that videos please subscribe my channel sidhnath nishandar also we discuss the different applications okay turbo jet engine why it is called turbo jet because the maximum thrust uh, we know that out of combustible products 80% products are passed through the nozzles and only 20% of the products are utilized to run the turbine in order to run the compressor that is a turbo jet so why it is called a turbo jet because maximum thrust produced by the with the help of jet itself okay in case of turbo prop engine we see also we see the different application of turbo jet engines okay in previous videos we see in detail okay in turbo prop engine i discuss where the maximum thrust is produced with the help of propeller that is 80% of thrust is produced with the help of propeller and only 20% thrust is produced with the help of jet of nozzle is completely opposite to that turbo prop and turbo jet okay so turbo prop why it is called turbo propeller propeller because 80% thrust produced because of propeller and why it is called turbo jet because of 80% the propulsive motion produced with the help of jet so it is called turbo jet and it is called as a turbo prop okay we see the different applications okay the today's main focus is now what is meant by ram jet if you see or compare the remaining two diagram of turbo jet and turbo prop we see their compressor is there turbine is there okay but there is no need of compressor no need of turbine okay but the one disadvantage of ram jet is is not a self propelled the major disadvantage is it can't be self start from the rest therefore it is always equipped with a small turbo jet to facilitate a starting if you see the figure the ram jet is different on some another jets like a turbo jet engine or turbo prop fighters or engines because it is not a self starting okay before why it is not self starting first to understand what is how it works okay if you see the construction here there is no compressor there is no turbine okay ram jet is also called as athodites if you see the short form athodites means what is the long form of that athodites i choose fan here okay aero thermodynamic ducts athodites means aero thermodynamic duct if you see it is the only wearing cross sectional area or the passage okay it is the duct having cross sectional area so it is called as aero thermodynamics means is in order to that duct in the chamber we going to combust we going to combust the fuels burn the fuels so the thermodynamic action is going in the ducts and the shape like a aerodynamic so it is aero thermodynamic ducts okay it is also called as a continuous firing duct engine okay if you see here and in the uh, at the front of that engine there is a subsonic diffuser okay and if you see the exhaust is the wearing narrow, narrow cross section area it act as a nozzle okay when the air is passed through the diffuser section if you see here when air is passed through the diffuser section the pressure rise take place due to the conversion of kinetic energy of air into pressure energy if you see the if we the initially the this ramjet is run at high speed engine okay certain velocity achieve of that in uh, that uh, turbo jets okay the turbo ramjet is uh, equipped with the turbo jets okay at certain height it is a uh, carries with the help of some turbo jet engines okay at certain level velocity is achieved okay and that kinetic energy when when moves through that diffuser section what happen the kinetic energy comes to pressure energy and this of compression air is called as the ram effect okay ram jet does not require the compressor and hence no need of turbine because the compression air takes place ramming effect 
so the compression of air is carried because of the drumming effect the word you also heard in turbojet ramjet consists of diffuser system combustion chamber and exhaust nozzle there is a diffuser system see at the combustion chamber and the exhaust system the diffuser system consists of two parts the supersonic diffuser and subsonic diffuser if you see the initial part okay or of this or very simplification if you see here this is a diffuser section class in two groups so one first one is the supersonic and another is the subsonic diffuser okay and the unit moves in the air supersonic velocity okay initially the ramjet is achieve supersonic velocity with the help of some different jet engines the supersonic velocity the air entering in the ram jet plant with supersonic speed is slowed down to the sonic velocity in the supersonic diffuser if we see initial first part zone is the supersonic diffuser where when the ramjet achieve the supersonic velocity that air starts to rush in that diffuser and that supersonic velocity is converted into sonic velocity okay further air moves the pressure suddenly increase because of that suddenly rise change in the supersonic to sonic velocity okay then pressure air is further increased in the subsonic diffuser the remaining air is rise in the remaining part of the duct that is the subsonic diffuser and increasing the temperature of the air above the ignition temperature okay further that compressed air is flows over that chamber that high pressure or high temperature air it comes in contact with the fuels and the combustion product starts to burn and the combustion product is formed the fuel air which is then ignited by means of spark plug this burning of fuel takes place in the combustion chamber is see here the high pressure air and high temperature gases pass through the nozzle where the pressure is converted into kinetic energy the advantage of ramjet engine is follows such that is no moving parts it is light in weight wide variety of fuel can be used moves with the supersonic velocity that is 1.5 to 2 mach number c the major disadvantage i discuss initially it can't be self start from the rest therefore it is always required with a small turbojet to facilitate this engine so the main disadvantage is need some devices to carry at certain velocity then and then it is utilize okay now we see the further slides how it actually history of that ramjet and how it works i start the screening here the very first studies of thermal propulsion nozzles were based on the work carried out by René Laurent in 1913 and rediscovered in the 1930s by an Italian Coco and a Frenchman René Le Duc the turbojet or ramjet is an extremely simple construction with no moving parts it is the most simple airplane motor imaginable all it consists of is a cylinder with a distributor placed at its entry to compress the incoming air heat is provided by fuel injection and the exit nozzle at the rear releases the burnt gas it has been used in several experimental aircraft notably the griffon and the le duc series if you see uh, is carried some device like turbojet up to mach 9 so these days its principal use is to propel cruise missiles the ramjets developed by smekma in the 1950s and 1960s were essentially made up of three parts the central core contained the control instruments the function of the pointed tip was to provoke shock recompression the rear end held the injection and combustion systems the external shell of the distributor attached by arms to the central core the ramjet motor can only really function at speeds over 500 km/h 
so air rushes into the air inlet at very high pressure. There it meets with the fuel, kerosene, that is being sprayed in by the injectors. The combustion produced creates a large quantity of hot gas, which is then expelled from the rear of the motor. From 1965 to 1970, tests were carried out with a view to using ramjets to power the coleopter, but they were discontinued due to lack of funds. It is worth noting that the specific fuel consumption of these motors is enormous, and this rules out their use for aeroplane propulsion. Hopes you understood. Uh, I had to refer this uh, video for more understanding. Okay, there is a ramjet. Okay, we further go through the previous videos. We clear the turbojet, turboprof, and the ramjet. All are the air breathing engines. Okay, next lecture we start non air breathing engines. Okay, please subscribe my channel Siddhanath Nishanda for more videos. Thank you.